It's like anything. I think it's one of those things where if you look at the origin and then look at the end, it's so like it's so different to the origin. But if you actually segment it and break it apart, actually, it's just a natural progression. And the thing for me is, I was uh, I was lucky where I was born. There happened to be a artificial ski slope built, so that was my twist of fate. So there was a dry ski slope, and I went there and I skied, and um, uh, I, I found my passion. Um, and, I, and I followed that passion, and, and, I, and I, there were many journeys, many different countries and places that you go to. Whatever sport you do, I think once you've seen the mountains, it's quite addictive. Not just for the thrill of skiing. Like today in Wenlong, we were skiing down, it was minus 20. <laughs> and I was freezing like this, like, ah, I want a hot bath. But at the same time, out of my eye, I was looking at the trees, which had snow on them, and it was frozen and the trees were moving and there were a few birds in the trees and it was like, oh my God, this is amazing. So that's, uh, that's why. It's the mountains calling, exactly. It was very interesting because I remember being on a, a, one of our courses in Verbier and it was, must be 2010 or 11 and uh, somebody brought a copy of the book Go Ski into the uh, video analysis and then they gave me the book and I was just like it's in Chinese well, I didn't know the book existed in Chinese and I was quite shocked and I, and I was very interested because I was like wow and so there's, there's the people in Chinese are interested enough to to want to look at the book and and that was very enthusiastic for me should I go to China should I do something over there and I came over and I had a great time and it, and it was really a special memory to see the enthusiasm of the Chinese skiers. The Chinese skier is the same as the, the British skier, right. as, the, as the skier from around Europe. It, there's interesting ingredients in their skiing, and some of the skiers were instructors, and some were people that have done competition, some of recreational skiers, but they're missing sometimes an ingredient, which is a common ingredient, and it's um, to do with the progression from snowplow to parallel, which is such an important part of someone's foundation, but the, the, the one and the goal for every person that seems to want to participate in skiing is they learn the basics and then they want to get parallel really quick. They want to become a parallel skier. So they'll do anything to turn their skis at the same time. But they miss out on a lot of the um, independent leg action, we find. And quite often trying to encourage someone to extend the outside leg and get some pressure on their outside ski. It's really, uh, it's quite alien. And it's, it's incredible that when you look at a skier, that can ski powder, that can ski a steep face, and yet they, they really don't grasp the energy out of the ski on piece to carve. Um, that's what makes me think actually there's a lot of work to be done, there's a lot of education that could come across here. Actually I've got one thing to add. Right. The food <laughs> at Wan Long is the best I've ever had in any ski resort anywhere. My name's Melinda Messenger and I'm uh, Warren's partner. We're out here skiing. In the UK, I work in television. Um, so we've got, yeah, very busy lives. Arriving in Beijing, 
you know, it's such a huge city. I mean, you have to forgive me, but I, I didn't, I never associated skiing and, and China necessarily, you know, so much. Um, so it was a real surprise to see, it, you know, that it's such a massive thing out here, and 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 just the, it's the, the quality of it, it's just brilliant. You know, if I had a choice, and I'm not just saying this, <laughs> I, I genuinely am not. I've said this to Warren, he'll back me up. Europe is incredible because what you get in Europe is the vastness of huge mountains and uh, passionate skiers and it's got a history that is huge. But something that is equally special when you come to China uh, and specifically what we found here in Wenlong is uh, if I was given a, a blank sheet of paper and asked to, to design my perfect ski resort for teaching someone to ski and having all the perfect places having the environment that is a family environment, but also quality and convenience and just, I, Wen Long have done a fantastic job. And um, it, they didn't make that mountain like that. It is part of the way it's structured, but it's naturally a very good place to take a family to ski. Um, on the other side, you can ski a fizz giant slalom race here. Um, you can ski off piste in the trees. My particular passion is the silver birch tree, and there are so many silver birch trees here, it's incredible. So that, that's what really, for me, that the, the infrastructure is great. The, 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 the Chinese people, the way they embrace you when you come to their resort, is really warming. Now, put your poles out here. It's, it's going to be a good memory for us. Um, the food here is, is amazing. It's my favourite. It's my favourite food. It always has been Chinese food. You know, just as a, as a kid growing up in in the UK, it's like, oh, the Chinese, great, you know. Um, I love the culture here, the manners and the, the, the respect people seem to have. It's, it's fantastic. It's, it's, it's a good education, I think, for many cultures to see what you guys do. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's lovely. We will definitely come. I would like, I mean, Warren and I would like to come out here and bring our, our children mm. and uh, just because a, it's a phenomenal place to see and culturally it's so different um, but it's just such a great experience and I think they will really love it. They were very jealous when they heard we were coming so we're, we're, we're already planning our second trip. Miha Jongwa, why I call you.